uh, Alga Chicho, I couldn't possibly confirm that I have been to Mongolia. Ha <laughs> ha. Funny, funny. I thought about a long time ago investing in Cuba, but you couldn't buy any property in Cuba unless you were a Cuban, right? You could have bought back in the 90s. I couldn't believe it. My jaw dropped when I found out how much property was in Cuba. You could have bought a house, beachfront house with land, like beachfront. You're you're on <laughs> you're on the beach, beautiful beach with big land for like five thousand dollars US in Cuba in the nineties. I asked around, they said no, if you're not a Cuban, you can't buy a house. Because if Cuba allowed foreigners to buy houses in Cuba, then Cubans wouldn't Cubans wouldn't have homes. And that made sense to me. Now try to make that argument with Canadians or Americans or any other country that allows foreigners to buy property in their country. That puts out the citizens of that country into the streets, right? But the banks love it, the governments love it. So there's a communist country you can call it communist, a socialist, really Cuba, or it was way more in the 90s than it is now, protecting the citizens of that nation from cap, what is it, Wall Street capitalism, really. Because if they allowed it, I would have bought like five pieces of property in different parts of Cuba in the 90s, right? 